I'm happy in this bathroom, by the way. I this really is. Yeah. <laughs> bath and kitchen, I think, can both get very, very expensive very quickly and can kind of get away from you. So today we're working with not only John, uh, our favorite designer, uh, and star of HGTV's Curb Appeal Extreme. <laughs> um, <laughs> But we're also working with our friends from The Home Depot to show you guys how to build a bathroom and try and keep it on budget. Absolutely. The first thing I always attack when it comes to designing on a budget is mm. color. You can never underestimate how much impact color can have. And right. it doesn't necessarily have to mean paint on a wall. The first thing I selected here was this incredible vanity in this blue color. What I love about this cabinet is this incredible color. And it becomes the hero piece of this bathroom. And then the rest of the design, including this gorgeous wallpaper obviously, works with that blue. So color is always gonna be the first step when it comes to making a bathroom that feels designed for you. So I love the light fixtures. They really are stunning, uh, really pretty. I, don't you think? I love them too. They're stunning. And what's in between those light fixtures are these incredible mirrors. And when you're going on a budget, anytime you try to bring in an object, I say try to make it serve double duty. Right. So these mirrors, what I love about them is they're not only the functional mirror that we absolutely need in a bathroom, but they've got this incredible shape, so they work they're as art. They're an architectural art. piece, so they become art as well. Exactly. You get to express so yourself. Great. And there's such a focal point. I'm happy in this bathroom, by the way. I this really is am. Bathroom. I wish it were real. But the lighting fixtures, I mean. They're stunning, right? I love the way they, they capture the light, and they, they look like a a festival or something. Like, yeah, they're really clever. They refract light. I can imagine the entire bathroom being filled with light because of these. The, and they're just so attractive. And placing them low and on the sides... Lights your face. Fills, you fills light a face. lot of holes, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Okay. Um, open shelving. This is a little bit contentious because people are always worried about clutter, right? Yeah. But what I love about open shelving is it keeps the objects that you use day to day right close at hand. Well, and you know how I feel about it is how I live in every kitchen and space in my life is all open shelving. Towels, things that you would use every day. In exactly. Bath, sure. And a little bit of decor as well. It gives you such an opportunity to bring in some of the design features that you like. For example, these shelves have a mirrored top and a gold structure, which ties in perfectly with, with our the mirror, mirrors. Right. And I love the succulents. They they love moisture in the air, exactly. but not too much moisture in the soil. Great for a bathroom. It's perfect for a bathroom. Right. Yeah. And when you're considering open shelving, also make sure that you've got plenty of closed shelving as well. Uh, because yeah, there are is... things in a bathroom that, of course, you don't want to exactly. put on the Exactly. The, the bulky yeah. items, you want to put those behind a door and make sure that the open shelves are not cluttered and messy. And that way, the whole bathroom works for you. I really think it's a beaut. Yeah. Super. And I've got one final detail. And this is a little bit intimidating for most people, but it really shouldn't be. The DIY high-end details. For example, crown molding, chair rails, any right. kind of trim. You can install these things without that much effort. You'd be surprised. What I did here, of course, is the peel and stick wallpaper, right. which comes in so many different patterns, so many different finishes. You can really uh, match your personality with the wallpaper. And by finishing the bottom with a chair rail and a beadboard wainscot detail, which suddenly, is nothing, like nothing, literally. So inexpensive. And it really makes the vanity pop out when you do details like this. Everything you see here was from homedepot.com. So their online store has pretty much everything you need for your bathroom. And, from and lighting, they'll bring it to you. Oh, yeah. Or it, it shows yeah, up. Yeah. Lighting, mirrors, faucets, towels, and their vanities have all the new design features that I'm looking for, like tilt-down drawers and adjustable shelves. Plus, it's also, I think people just are so knowing after all these years that it's always at affordable prices, too. So, exactly. So and you don't have to be committed for life. And all the brands you want at really affordable prices.